Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Holly with the Nestle Valley Farmhouse and today I'm taking you along doing some spring cleaning. We got a little surprise snow this morning and <laughs> kind of, I get, I don't know, it was maybe an inch and a half. So I have my 40 ounce water today to keep me hydrated while I work on stuff. So today is going to be all about getting the house picked up, getting things kind of my down main living area done. And then I'm also going to be decorating my house for some kind of talking about my like how I decorate and those kinds of things and also kind of talking about like our plans for the next few months spring is almost here but of course winter is holding on very tightly <laughs> this is what we call second winter week we have um, like I said we have snow today today's Tuesday so it was like Monday to Tuesday and then I guess there's another um, amount of snow in the forecast for Thursday or I think it was Wednesday into Thursday or Thursday or Friday anyway starting off with just kind of cleaning up my kitchen so i'm kind of excited part of me is a little disappointed there were several things that i was hoping to get completed before kind of springtime came but i feel like with basketball it was just a lot now we have tentatively planned for basketball next year but um we actually the two older girls will be on the same team next year so it only would be two teams because my younger kids can't play yet so i'm kind of hoping that it will be a little bit less overwhelming than it was this year the very first year we did it the girls were on the same team and honestly it was so nice <laughs> so now i'm focusing on just trying to get like my mind ready for softball that's coming up we're starting practices this week and so I'm looking forward to just kind of how that's going. And yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to the games and stuff. Same thing, my two older girls will actually be on the same team. So I only have two sets of practices and two games to worry about this time of the year. So, so yeah, so I have actually this year, I feel like every year I like start off kind of early spring with like the best of intentions. And then I never like really fulfill like all the different things that I want to get done. So real quick, before I get into that, I am, um, so I was talking about, uh, I think it was last week, basically my March menu is I'm cooking a whole chicken. So I had, I cooked this whole chicken yesterday and then I put the, um, the chicken carcass in the crock pot overnight. I cook it on low for 12 hours. Now I don't always like, this is just kind of my quick chicken broth recipe. I don't always um, put a whole lot of vegetables in it. You can. I normally this time I'm literally just put some salt, pepper, and just the chicken and cooked it. And I have, um, I have, yeah. So I'm ladling out. I think I got about three quarts of chicken broth. So as you can see, it's really nice yellow color. And this is probably one of my easiest ways to make chicken broth. Now I normally get about three quarts every time I do this in the crock pot and then I will actually go through and I will pick off um, more meat and kind of debone the, um, whatchamacallit, debone the chicken so that I'm able to get, um, so I'm able to get as much meat off the bone as possible. Deboning and yeah, so then I have, so I'm making tonight for dinner, it's called taco or sorry, nacho casserole. And it's basically um, tortilla chips on the bottom. And then I use the deboned chicken and then I added beans and bell peppers and cheese on top. And actually all the kids ate it. It turned out really good. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing for dinner tonight. So that's why I'm pulling as much meat off the bones as I can. And then after that, I toss the rest of the bones out into the chicken coop because chickens are cannibals and carnivores and they eat everything. So yeah, but, um, so basically that's kind of how I do my, my chicken broth. So I got about three quarts of chicken broth. And so this is something with my chicken I will make. I will probably make chicken broth almost every week because I'm still doing soups and um, I'm trying to do soups every week still because obviously I love them and I might even do them throughout the summer, we'll see. So this is my closet that I um, put all my like seasonal stuff in. It's definitely needs some, it needs some shelves really bad, but. <laughs> But it's one thing at a time at this house and i know there's a lot of things we're hoping to get done but you know life doesn't always go the way we plan so i'm just making do with what i have and so basically i kind of have to pull all the totes out i pull out all the easter totes and i pulled out the um, valentine's tote 
So right now, I think I have about three totes that are Christmas, and I think I'm actually going to like pare them down to two totes. I like, so when I was a kid, we like decorated, especially Christmas was like the biggest holiday, but I'm kind of trying to get more into a, I don't like saying minimalistic because I don't think that's really what I'm doing, but just kind of more simple decorations. I absolutely love decorating for each season. It's really, it's important to me. It um, makes my house feel fun and festive and it really helps me to kind of have some things to look forward to. It's always something I'm big on, but I'm kind of trying to like pare down and just do like less, like, I guess, crazy overwhelming decorations and just kind of a few cute pieces, you know, kind of in our living room and kind of just around the house. So first, of course, I'm going to tidy up the living room a little bit because um, I want to get it all tidied up before I go through. And whenever I pull off all the, um, so basically I'll be taking down all my Valentine's decorations and putting up my Easter decorations. And I don't know, Easter's early this year, so I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of trying to wrap my brain around it, but I don't know. It'll be fun. I just feel like it's coming sooner so I have less time to get ready for it. I've actually already done some shopping for Easter treats because I'm one of those people that I just like doing it earlier rather than later and so that really helps. So because of the Easter baskets are so, um, oh yeah, and baby was very upset today. She of course has come down with a little bit of a fever and she wasn't feeling good yesterday. Today's, yeah, so today's Tuesday. I'm doing this on Wednesday but she was just not feeling good so i literally spent i had to hold her pretty much the whole time i was taking down all the stuff it was fine though i could just tell she definitely needed mama and so today she's been really sleeping a lot and overall she's doing fine it's just obviously nasty bugs that have been going through our family this year i feel like we've gotten sick more this year than we have in a while so it's kind of frustrating but we're plugging through so I'm just pulling down all my Valentine's decorations, putting them in my Valentine's tote, and then I'm gonna do a quick um, kind of heavier dusting. I'll kind of spray down and wipe down the mantle. This area is kind of like our main, our main area that of course we gather in this room. This is kind of the hangout room that most of us, most of the kids hang in, I hang out in, so I wanna make it look really nice. And I don't always get the dusting done as much as I'd like, especially with all the decorations up. So whenever I take everything down, I make sure to do a really good like wipe down of the um, mantle area because that's obviously one of the most common places that all the kids hang out and we congregate, congregate at. I can't talk today. <laughs> So I use the kids Easter baskets in my decorations because A, they're kind of expensive. So we got these Easter ba baskets and our stockings from Pottery Barn Kids. I just really wanted them to have really nice kind of keepsake baskets and they're really cute. I love them. And of course they're kind of big. So I find that like I can't fit them in a tote very well. So Easter kind of has the tote with all the decorations and then like the baskets. I normally can fit two baskets in the tote and then I have to put the rest kind of strewn about in the closet there. But yeah, so I use the baskets and the decorations and I'm just kind of doing small pops of, you know, little Easter decor I did on the mantle and then this little um, cabinet that we have up against the back door. I wanted to put a couple cute things on and, you know, just kind of a little festive. I actually have a couple other things that I'm hoping to get, but I'm trying to keep things as simple as possible because A, it's less to clean and B, I feel like it just looks less like gaudy. It looks less cluttered when you just have a few like nice things out. So still kind of working on that you know <laughs> So now I'm just going to clean up the table a little bit and of course get um, get the decoration set up there. So right now the goal is to, um, we're going to be starting our meat chicks soon and I am determined to get them by, get them by early March. So we probably have already gotten them by the time this video comes out. And my goal is to basically have them and I want to try to be done with them by the end of April. Last year we ended up getting them like mid-July and it was way like it just got really late in the season and our family so we have birthdays in summertime we have spring birthdays so we don't have any winter birthdays we have two spring birthdays actually technically three spring birthdays two summer birthdays and two birthdays in October and 
I feel like kind of this time of year can get really hectic and busy. So I've actually like written down a schedule and I kind of suggest this if you, if you have homesteading goals or even homemaking goals that you want to do this spring, start now and write down schedule and, and literally put like due dates on things. Cause to me, it's like, it's just like assignments that you would have in, um, in school. It's really helpful to have just a few things written down to know like what your next steps are. So it's kind of the finishing of the decorations. I just have this cute little thing on the table. Then I have this decorated up and then basically I just kind of did the mantle. And as I find more cute things, I might put a few more things around the house, just kind of a little pop of spring and just some kind of cutesy stuff. And just kept the decorations really simple this year. And I think I'm just kind of really liking the more simplistic simplistic decorations versus other times. So I did get this wreath and this little sign from Walmart this year. I really liked the wreath. It was really cute and the sign. So I actually used wire and just kind of wired the sign to the door and the cats are wanting inside. But I thought it turned out really cute. So now I'm just finishing up the rest of my house chores. I have some laundry to do and I have to clean my bedroom and clean. I need to vacuum my bedroom, vacuum the living room and also clean the bathroom. The downstairs bathroom is today and then I will be done. So I have gotten due dates out for my thing. So by March 6th, my plan is to get meat chicks by, um, by, and then by, what was it? I'm going to try to start some seeds indoors this year. I want to try to see what I can get started because I do have a bunch of like heirloom seeds and because my goal is to see whatever I can start from seeds this year, just to save a little money on vegetable starts. Now they're not normally too expensive, but I don't know about you with the way inflation has been going lately. I wouldn't be surprised if they're like twice the price as they were last year. So I'm just trying to think ahead. So I have some grow lights and I got a tray for some seeds and I'm just going to try it a little bit this year. So we'll see. So my goal is to have those seeds started by about the end of March, because around here we don't really, um, start planting until like mother's day time. So like early May, early to mid May, depending. So that's kind of my goals. And then, um, and then I think what I'm going to do is probably the end of like April or maybe even like mid April, I'm going to start working on our summer goals because we are thinking about possibly doing a meat animal, like a meat goat this year. So we're not really sure yet, but I wanted to, I feel like it's really been helpful for me just to have like, yes, we're doing this. Here's the due dates and making sure that we have everything like figured out and cleaned up so that there's no, no issues, so to speak for that. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. So I'm looking forward to this next season. Obviously going to be doing a lot of, you know, just cleaning, taking care of the house and family because that's my main daily job. And so it's something I'm definitely looking forward to doing. <laughs> So not everything is all decorated. My house is all cleaned up and tidied up. I am super tired, but ready for my break. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.